Uh, welcome to the Town of Deerfield Select Board Board of Health Sewer Commissioners meeting for March 4th, 2023. It is uh, 2.04 p.m. This is a remote meeting on Zoom. Uh, meetings normally held with the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with Chapter 107 of the Acts of 2022, which extended the governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20, until March 31st, 2023. And we are, fingers crossed, the governor is going to sign to extend that again to March 30, 31st, I believe, 2025, which would be really helpful. Um, thank the legislature for that. Um, meetings, are typically, meetings are typically broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television. This meeting will be recorded um, and uploaded. So the meeting ID, if you'd like to call in, uh, the toll-free number is 833-548-0276. Um, the meeting ID is 911-604-1580. And should you need the passcode, it's 570012. And the, if you go to the Town of Deerfield website, under the Select Board meeting, you'll see a Zoom link. You can click on that link and join here. And um, if you're on your phone, you can hit star six for landlines to mute and unmute. Um, so we'll call the meeting to order. Um, public comment we've suspended for purposes of discussion. We'll resume at the next meeting. Um, we have no hearings or um, uh, visits today by anybody. Uh, so really the uh, couple of items we wanted to discuss today were um, just we had on the agenda the old Deerfield wastewater treatment facility path for design. Um, and then we have town clerk job description posting vacancy notice. Um, and so um, for the old Deerfield Wastewater Treatment Facility um, plan for design, I, I think we we're going to invite the nonprofits to a meeting um, uh, of, the, of the sewer commissioners on March 15th. And, um, you know, I, they've sent uh, forward, a, a you know, a, an initial phase one alternative design plan. Um, you know, we, and we, we just want to hear them out on that. We'll take it under advisement. And uh, and move on from there, but I think uh, we'd ask Casey if that's okay to set that up, or oh, yeah. uh, you know if you could set that up for I, th I guess one o'clock on the fifteenth. If if it meets with them, I'm free on other times too. So um, however that works, and we'll we'll move forward. Um, any other discussion on that topic, or we'll you know? Um, so well, then I, I would just like to say we would have been we would like to do it a little sooner, but. Uh, yeah, so some of our members have to travel, and uh, so this True. is the earliest available time when it's convenient for everyone. Yeah, thank, yeah. thanks for allowing me to. I, I don't feel comfortable without you there, Trevor. So, thank um, you. Whoever reaches out to the nonprofits, could they make sure that, um, you know, they understand that we want to be together as a board? Yeah. Yep. That okay. sounds great. Okay. Um, so next item is town clerk job description posting and vacancy notice. Um, yes. Do you want to hit on that? I do. So as you know, we hired an, an interim town clerk last summer to assist us through the elections and some training of the assistant town clerk. And unfortunately, the assistant town clerk left um, right before the November election. Right. So we were in the process of hiring a new assistant town clerk. And now that everything has been split off town clerk from treasure collector, we've hired the treasure collector. We're mm -hmm. in process of hiring the assistant treasure collector. It makes sense to start getting this position permanently filled for the town clerk. Yep. So um, I was working on the vacancy. If you want me to show it to you, it's not final because I need some numbers from Brenda, but if okay. you want me to show it to you, I have it ready. I could screen sure. share it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Can everybody see it? Yep. Yeah. So, so basically, the duties are, are they include customer service, elections, voters, you know, verifying signatures for all sorts of things. I might flesh that out a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to be too wordy in a vacancy because it gets expensive. But yeah. this is a 20 to 25 hour a week benefited position. The pay range is what Brenda will give me. Yep. And basically we need them to fill out the application and review the job description. And then they'll send yep. their applications and cover letters to the assistant town administrator. 
So hold on. Like I said, I've got some Monday flesh outs to do with Brenda, but mm -hmm. it should be. Now I can't unshare. And I know we were it. talking a little bit about like full time versus part time. And I, I, you know, I think it makes sense to start with this um, because we have a full time assistant right now that does the majority of like the public service inter interaction. And we need, you know, a head clerk mm -hmm. to kind of oversee and do um, the election stuff as well. And um, it might be attractive for somebody to do that. You know, there's there's pluses and minuses to a part time option, but, um, you know, it might be something where somebody might be attracted to that. It gives them some other time and. Um, but, you know, I guess we could revisit that if, you know, depending on what we see for applicants, right? Right, right. Um, I think it, once we finish, I don't want to put too many of the tasks up. Usually what I do is go through the job description and pull the most critical things. Mm -hmm. And customer service is really a critical one. Yeah. Um, and there's some collections of fund because you're doing licensing, which I mentioned. But yep. I will probably um, finish talking that through with Brenda and possibly with um, Carleen, just to make sure that I've gotten it mm -hmm. as close as possible. Um, but we are, oh, I'm sorry, Tim. No, I was just gonna, if I was just gonna offer a motion to authorize Casey to post a job um, based on, you know, with the, with the additional information she's seeking from Brenda. Thank you. And, I, and I would second that. I'm I'm fine with it. I think it, it makes total yep. sense to get get it out there and see who might even be interested. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any further discussions? All those in favor? Kim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Great. Thanks, Casey. Yeah. So the other piece of this is we need to be prepared to settle the employment contract. Mm -hmm. Um there's a requirement in the contract for notification right um, not less than seven days okay so i am wondering if the board will take a vote to authorize me to um hold on Let's let me the contract. i had this written down and then i couldn't find it to start the process um, basically the process. um be ready it, sever the contract the employment contract mm -hmm. um in a re within a reasonable time frame and authorize me to finalize the paperwork for that. Yes. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn S, aye. Great. So I have nice. one more thing. You just okay. wanted I, to, one more comment about that, I'm if sorry. you don't mind. Um, so I assume that, um, you know, the, the, uh, that when you post this, that's not necessarily going to be your official seven day notification, but Carly no. will become aware. No, I would write a letter um, and finalize okay. any. Yeah, perfect. Know, Thank you. I would make it formal because right. I don't want there to be any questions. So mm -hmm. in the in the letter, I would um, reference the board's vote yeah. and okay. the fact that you also voted to put the vacancy out there. Yeah. Yep. So time to move on. Yep. There was one other thing that I wanted to mention. It's been bothering me because it, it makes me a little uncomfortable, but um, Joe Comerford's office nominated me to go to the Citizens Legislative Seminar in April. Great. It's the, I think the 11th and 12th. Um, I finalized the RF, RSVP. Yeah. Um, it means I'll be gone for two days and that would be either Great. personal or vacation. What is it? It's, it's basically it's an business. overview of how work. the legislature does. Sounds like business. that's a work business trip to me. That sounds like a business <laughs> trip. It does. Yep. Um, I'm good. sorry. You need to figure out how we're going to get more money, and maybe while you're down there, you can figure out where the ARPA money went. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's definitely a networking and discussion. It's perfect. No, we fully totally support you doing that. That's great. Yeah, and you can look out for the IRA money now. Yeah. It's Inflation Reduction Act money. <laughs> so I think Carolyn needs to give me a list of what I need to ask. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll be talking. <laughs> but it was, it made me a little uncomfortable because I've never been non nominated for something like well, this. We're proud so of you for that. That's it awesome. It took me a while to open my mouth with you guys. <laughs> no, that's good. Well, there's Great a, there's, there, I, oh, well, go this, ahead, would Carolyn. An, this would be an opportunity for you to reach out to some <clears> other 
Carr's office when you're down there, um, because he's 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 leading the charge on the library legislation. Mm -hmm. And then you know there's other senators that are really do a lot to sign on to our things, like Senator Gobi, um, mm -hmm. it's more central. Um, with and, and representative whips too, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, yep. so we'll, we'll talk on a couple people that you should connect with down okay. there. Okay. But that's great news, us. Casey. Yeah, just to yeah. help us out. Okay. It at least gives me an opportunity to sort of figure out who we, who I should be talking with. Rub some eyeballs. To learn from them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> bring some money home. No, that's well, that's great. the thing. I would love to bring some money home, but I'm not going to make any promises. I'll no, just try. no, oh, no. You just make connections. Make connections. That's the key. Make connections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you for that. That's awesome. Great. Yeah. Yes. No and worries. I'm developing a list for um, getting money back to the town when we hire our planner, mm -hmm. grant writer, grant administrator. So you have more free time to take care yeah. of the rest of the town. <laughs> that's and right. That person has time to bring money back to us. Yeah. yeah, because the grant administration may have to be a shared process. <laughs> right. Yep. Uh, okay. So All the right. other thing was, is we got some guidance. Thank you, Trevor. Yep. We got some guidance on earmarks. Mm -hmm. We got two, actually. We got one from Kobe after Chris set a meeting up so we could talk to Kobe and Lizzie in um, uh, Congressman McGovern's office. And then I saw the email um, giving us earmark guidance mm -hmm. that came in. Was it Senator Warren's office? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was Markey's office. It's Markey's Kristen office. from Markey's office, and then she she looped in uh, Senator Warren's aide as well. So to try and kind of get with us and help us, you know, get a plan together to try and get some earmark money. So and I had told Tim saw her at that we reached out so that we could see what kind of a di guidance document with a timeline was. Yeah. And Kobe was very forthcoming that at the time we talked, they didn't have 24 guidance, but it looks mm -hmm. like they might have it now. Yeah. So Chris and I are going to go over it. Great. That's, That's great. great. So those were the two key things I wanted to let you know. Yeah. Well, the, key, the key thing is for the offices to know that we want an earmark. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're in the pipeline because that money, the decisions are all made in August and the money is distributed at the end of September because remember mm -hmm. it's a federal year. Right. So we really don't have that much time. No, that's why we wanted to talk to Kobe about it because we had yeah. no idea what the process was. And since we'll sort of marshal it in here, mm -hmm. um, help you guys pursue it. The discussions you have will be your own discussions, but whatever we have yep. to do in the background, we needed to know. Well, we were in the pipeline from last year. Remember, mm -hmm. we were too late at this time to yes. be new, but Jim McGovern, met with us last year and we are in the pipeline from last year so this mm -hmm. is it's not like we're just starting this is a right. whole process so and they um, have documentation they want from us so Chris yeah. and I are going to look so at this it's really okay. good it's really great. good that's great yeah Chris, that's pretty looking. much all I have right this second yeah if you need help um you know bring it up and you know so that all three of us can help you okay yeah. And Denise, that would be helpful. And Thank Denise you. Mason, we can all brainstorm. Well, that's what I was going to do is now that we have the guidance, I was going to send it to Denise and have a chat with her. Yeah, right. it, it, it takes a lot of brain power to put this mm -hmm. together. You know, in the, you have to have your story. You know, I always talk about the story. You're going to, you got to whine in a productive way. So <laughs> can, can you write that down, Chris? <laughs> because we'll I'm going to take that to, because I can be really good at whining. Please, please, please. It's got to be productive. Way. Oh, it's got to be productive, and it's got to have a solution attached. I yeah. know. So, Chris and Casey, just so you know, I forwarded the email I sent to Kobe and Jim McGovern, and it spells out specifically what our needs are. Okay. And, um, you know, four point two million in earmarks. Um, <laughs> so he warned that, me he was doing it. That preserves the ARPA money that we potentially could use. Right. So I didn't mention the ARPA money that we have in the. Just no, so you know. because that pipeline, we need to save a little bit. Of, I mean, there's things that I think we should spend it on, but they're yeah. smaller. I do mm -hmm. think we need to keep some of that second tranche to deal with the Leary lot in case it gets complicated. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I did or, get in touch with Jeff about what that. What are we doing on the Leary lot? Um, the Leary lot so, is 
we were trying to sign the contract. I need a more fleshed out scope of work. So I yep. sent information to Jeff and what I was going to do. I hadn't hit send on the email, but I was going to ask him to meet with me so that we can go over what mm -hmm. time bond did because it it's it's closer to shovel ready than I thought, but I'm not an engineer. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to go over some of the nuances with Hamshaw and BBC because that might tweak things a bit. So I have to ask him if we can set up a meeting. Okay. All right. Is that any good for you guys? Any other business? Um, Thanks for meeting on a Saturday. Appreciate the time. Thank Doing you. Yeah, so I basically- I hope you had a good birthday celebration. One, yeah, I just wanted to thank Trevor again for oh. sending us the marquee information. I think it's okay. a great opportunity. It's a signal that people are talking to each other and yes. they're in their thoughts and yep. hopefully their prayers and hopefully <laughs> their, their, their checkbooks. Their checkbooks, exactly. <laughs> and cross <Right>. fingers. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, just real quickly, we did see a, um, a letter uh, I saw circulated about uh, ZBA, somebody interested in the ZBA, which is great. Yes. And I think we have a vacancy, right? And then um, we may also need to move an alternate to permanent somewhere. So I know that there's some appointing stuff we've got to do on that. I talked to Bob Decker the other day, and I think they have a, a, something coming up fairly soon. He is going to recuse himself. I think Dave's going to be away. Several people are away. So it's going to be a very slimmed um, board and we may want to move on that appointment sooner rather than later, but I'll leave that up to you guys. I don't, I don't know. Where, so where Will, I saw that too, Trevor, and okay. I was going to talk to Chris and make sure that we're on the same page about okay. who's appointed and what space vacancies. Yeah. Will be. And what, you know, if we want to talk about any policies that we're changing or how we're addressing appointments, any of that stuff we want to talk about is fine. Yeah, because Trevor's not going to be here on the on the eighth. Can we just keep a really slim agenda? Um, what we could do is we could put like the vacancy thing ZBA mm -hmm. off to a bigger discussion on the twenty second. Um, Chris and I'll go through the agenda and see if there's something we can push off. I think there's one appearance. I don't think we need to leave. I don't think we need to delay the ZBA. The no. moments. No, oh, that's obviously a good citizen. Yeah, I'm I'm good. If you two are are good to move forward, I don't need to be there for but that. We should do it at the eighth, not 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 today. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because I think they have something coming up on the fifteenth. So. Right. I yeah. Was, I was thinking more along the lines of um, you know d appearances or discussion items. Other. The only appearance I think we have is Denise Allard and Mark Capadonna <clears throat> about the municipal aggregation. Okay. They were just going to give you a brief overview. And if Trevor wants, so Trevor's not going to be I'll just, there. I'll he just can watch the movie. Exactly. I'll watch it after. Yep. Okay. That's all. It's fine. Yep. I don't okay. want you to that because that's kind of important. Yeah. I, you're I'll not going to take any votes per se. You've already right. taken the vote they need. Yep. Um, but really, it just gives everybody an overview. Tim's new. So mm -hmm. this could be helpful to have a 15, 20 minute conversation yeah. about it just to get Tim up to speed. And everybody then is on the same page about what the aggregation group is going to do in the next several weeks. Yeah. Okay. And I'm all right. I just wanted to make sure we were just cognizant that Trevor wasn't going to be there. And I Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll go through the agenda on Monday, guys. All right. The last thing about the ZBA um, is that it when Gabby sent her email, um, it reminded me that I needed to send a list of the boards that we're talking about for policies. Mm -hmm. So if you could share that with the other select board members that what I or, or get them to share theirs with you, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, because this relates to appointments going forward. So sure. I can blind carbon copy share it, Tim. So I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Great. Right. Thank you. All right. Uh, All right. Thanks, everyone. I'll make a motion to uh, adjourn. Great. All right. Thank you all. Any other further discussion? All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn S. I. Great. Thank you all. Have a great weekend. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Take care. you too. See you, you next